Welcome back to FM Story. In the last episode, we began our 15th and final season of this sporting save. We are looking for our 14th consecutive league title, and we're looking to go back to back in the Champions League. As far as the league's concerned, we've started with six wins from six games. We're currently top of the table, level on points with Benfica. As far as the Champions League's concerned, didn't get off to the best start. We lost 2 1 against Man City in our open game. But we have already picked up two trophies in the Super Tacker and the UEFA Super Cup. Coming up in this episode, we've got some big games in the Champions League against Dortmund, against RB Salzburg, against Juventus and against Chelsea, as well as some big games which we'll see against Benfica and Porto in the league. Without further ado, let's get into the action. We're now into the middle of November. Big game coming up in the league at home to Benfica. As you can see from the table, both of us have played eight games and won every one of them. We're top on by virtue of, of goal difference. Um, we have scored 35 goals in the league, as you can see this season, and only conceded one. So things are going pretty well. Um, domestically, things have gone really well since the last episode. Champions League-wise, not so much. The first game since the last episode was the Champions League game against um, Dortmund. Came away with a really comfortable 7-1 victory at home. Just absolutely obliterated them. We beat AC Vizu in the league. Um, we came back from an international break and put 14 past Aguida in the tactical Portugal with Rodrigo Ribeiro scoring 7. Berecho getting 3. Diego Ferreira popping from the back with 2. We then went away to RB Salzburg and drew 0-0 in the Champions League and basically put in a pretty rubbish performance. We bounced back in the Allianz Cup with a 5-0 victory. And then in the last league game, comfortable victory over Braga, three headers from Miguel Benavides in the first half um, to give us the 3-0 victory. And then in our most recent game, we are away at Juventus in the Champions League and our own player who's on loan at Juventus scored two goals um, and signed us to the 2 0 defeat. However, the performance we've put in was abysmal. What it means, as far as the Champions League is concerned, is that we've played four games, we've got four points, and we are right at the bottom of being able to even make it into the, the later rounds of the Champions League as it stands at the moment. Obviously, we've got another four games left, but. <laughs> In those four games, we play Chelsea, we play PSG, we play Sevilla, who are around us, and we play Club Bruges. So, we are going to have to really step up our performance in the Champions League in those other games. Otherwise, we are really going to struggle to even make it into the, the knockout playoff round. And obviously, as we saw before, we are top at the moment on goal difference from Benfica. Um, we've scored a load of goals. Um, we just need to put in a bit of performance again. It's a home game, so hopefully that gives us enough. You do have one of our former players in Peter Gamolka, who they signed permanently from um, Dortmund in the summer. Um, so hopefully we can keep him quiet and uh, come away with a victory to, to give us a bit of a gap at the top of the table. So we're going in with pretty much the, the first choice team that we've picked all season. The only difference is Raul Rafael's playing in the defensive midfield role instead of Ludovic Soulard because he picked an injury in one of the previous games. Um, but otherwise we've got a pretty strong team there. Hopefully it's too strong for Benfica. Hopefully we can keep Gamolka quiet so he doesn't pop up some goals against us. And with it being a home game, hopefully we can get off to a good start and put behind us the, the last game in the Champions League. They've got the ball. Right, Raphael nicks it back. Bit of Herdy into the box, squares it. Suzuki at the back post. Perfect start. 1 0 up after five minutes. Exactly what we needed after that disaster in Chirin. Raphael just nicks it off him, and then we just had runners. Herdy gets past his defender enough to be able to square it, pull it across the far post, and there's Suzuki just a simple tap in past the keeper. And that's us 1-0 up. So then short goal kick for them, building from the back. Not 
not doing an awful lot. We're not getting particularly close to them. Going far too easily down this right hand side. Same with the tackle, but it comes back to them. And they've equalised. We just didn't get anywhere close to them. Same which makes a tackle here, but their player just swings the crossing almost straight away. And we've got to be defending better than that. So we've been far from our best in that first half. We started well, and then the longer the first half went on, the worse we got. 1 0 up after five minutes, they equalised, and they've had a player sent off now, so hopefully. Second half, we can take advantage of the 10 men. Obviously, losing Goosen's injury was a big blow. The interesting thing was the live table during the match. After they equalised, showed them top of the table in the second, despite the fact that we've got about a 14 goal better goal difference. So that was a, an interesting um, one. So it turns out, having looked at the rule, and the reason they're ahead of us at the top of the table, despite the fact that we've got a 14 better goal, goal, goal difference, is on the head-to-head, -head, it goes down to the matches between, the goal difference between the two teams that are head-to-head. -head. And then if they're still head-to-head, -head, it goes down to who scored the most away goals. So because they scored one away goal, they are ahead of us in the league, which seems absolutely bonkers when it's only the second goal we've conceded all season. But right, they've gone along. Benavides collects it with Simovic. On to Herdy, Benavides, Rafael looking for Breccio, it's gone to Bortic. That's put us 2-1 up and hopefully against 10 men we can now make it a bit more comfortable with another. Benavides into Rafael, plays it through looking for Breccio, it runs on to Bortic who fires it past the keeper. Raphael with a free kick. Placentia. Back to Bassioli. Raphael. Simovic down the left hand side. Into the box. Pulls it back. Suzuki gets his second. That's us 3 1 up, and hopefully that should be enough to win the game. Two goals in three minutes there. Simovic just. Go chops back onto his right foot, swings it across, and Suzuki heads home. They're trying to play it out from the back. Poor pass by them. Simovic latches onto it into Herdy. Tried to play it through to Porch. Came back off the defender. Back to Herdy. Lovely finish. 4 1. And that must be game over now. As Simovic just brings it forward into. Herdy tries to play the ball, it comes back off the defender and he lashes it past the keeper. And maybe it's time for a few changes. Right, so we made a couple of changes to bring some fresh legs on. You have to come back to the goalkeeper. Simovic wins it back. They've still held on to it though. Simovic now to Pareto. Herdy looking for Rodrigo Ribeiro. Lovely first touch, hits the post, and then he's the only one that reacts to knock it home for the fifth goal. And this is turning into a bit of a drought now. Heard it over the top. Ribeiro just flicks it up, hits it, hits the post. No one else reacted. And the simplest of jobs to tap it into the empty net for 5 1. Sends it to Miguel Ferreira. Hernandez down the right hand side, tries to square it. He does square it in the end. Ribeiro heads home. That's 6-1. And, I mean, obviously we have played a little better in the second half, but this has got to be down to them being at a town, down 10 men. Hernandez just, he tries to cross it, it flicks up off the defender, and somehow from such a narrow angle, Ribeiro's beating the keeper in the near post. Simovic down the line, 30. Back to Placencia. Hernandez with a header. And that's 7-1. And to see... This result's a bit unexpected given where we were at 1-1 when they equalised to have scored another six without 
return. Dante just swings it across to the far post. Hernandez beats his man. Too much power for the keeper. There we are, 7 1. And there we have it. A real Declan and Howe performance. Started really well, all off to five minutes, and then were really poor for the rest of the first half. And then partly down to them being out of 10 men, partly down to an improved second half, we've scored six without response and ended up somehow winning 7 1. Just need to continue that form because the next league game is a big one against Portal. So we've now made it to the end of November. We've got that big league game coming up away at Porto. Um, since the Benfica game, we've played two games, one in the Attack to Portugal, one in the Champions League. Attack to Portugal, we came away with a 5-0 victory over Lusitania La Rosa. We weren't brilliant um, early on, but ended up winning 3-0 up at half-time. Picked up another couple of goals in the second half for a pretty comfortable um, 5-0 victory. And then we got back on track in the Champions League in the last game. 2-0 victory over Chelsea. Still not particularly good, but good enough to get the, pick up the win and get the performance. Puts us in a good position in the Champions League, or a better position in the Champions League, especially given that PSG is our next game there. Um, hopefully we can just continue this decent run and uh, put in a, a good performance against Porto just to really open up a bit of a gap between a couple of teams top of the table there and, and put us in a strong position going into the second half of the season. This is the side we go into the game with Porto with how to make a couple of changes from what would have been our first choice um, team. Uh, firstly, Soulard still coming back from his injury, so Raul Rafael staying in that defensive field role. Um, Young Suzuki makes a twisted knee in training after the Chelsea game, so he's had to drop out. So we've moved Gortich to wide right and brought Rodrigo Rivero in through the middle. And uh, Goosen's having picked up an injury early on. Um, recently is, is out of the team. Um, Barreto is going to start in the end role. Um, Goosen, though, is almost back a bit, so he's on the bench in case we need him. Um, hopefully we can go in and put in a strong performance. Obviously it's going to be tough away from home um, against the rival. But I think we've got more than enough about us to come out with a hopefully comfortable victory. Not an awful lot happening now in the first half, and that is brings the end pretty poor first half. Um, neither side's really done an awful lot, but we've really been below par. We need to be much, much better in the second half. Right, we sent the same team out to start the second half. Semovic intercepts the ball there, brings it forward into Herdy, Asensia to Barreto, back to Asensia, look at Ribeiro, how we've managed to keep a hold of that. What a finish though. And that's 1 0, and that was exactly how we needed to start the second half. So Brecha into Placentia, who fires it forward. The no look volley back by Ribeiro, volleyed forward by Placentia, and the outside of the right foot into the far corner from Herdy. Starting to score circus goal. And get ahead to it, get it out. Get on for that, well done. Pereira, can he play the ball? Plays it into Ribeiro. Got two calls to the keeper. Bassioli down the right hand side, into Goosen's box. Bit of a scramble, they've managed to clear it. Probably going to be the last action of the game. They're going on the left hand side. Priori barges him over. Picks up the yellow card. And this has got to be the last chance. Got to make sure we get a hit on it. Do. And Ribeiro picks it up. Pereira out to Ben Gate. And that's full time. We've been far from our best in this game. But picked up an important win. Combined with Hammering of Benfica. Our last two league games. Big wins against our biggest rivals. To put us in a really strong position at the top of the table. And there we have it, the end of another episode. Well, by and large, things have gone well. Um, we're still top of the table. We played 10 1 10. We're three points clear of, of Benfica. We are eight points clear of Porto. Champions League hasn't gone particularly well, but that 
most recent win over Chelsea, so hopefully put us in a good position going into that big game in December against PSG. It's going to go a long way to decide you know, where we finish in the, the league phase. Um, we've done quite well in the Taxi Portugal. We won our first game in the Allianz Cup, and we've already won the UFC Super Cup. Super Pack. Things are going pretty well. Hopefully we can continue on that, that run in the next episode. We'll find out what where we finish in that league phase of the Champions League, and hopefully we can um, start to build a big lead at the top of the table as well. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.